Hello there. In this video, we're going to do something a little different. I'm not going to be building a robot, I'm going to be looking at someone else's robot. And in this video, we're going to look at the Cheetahs, specifically their second practice test where they uh, score 505 points. Now, there's been quite a lot of people that already have watched this, and I'm going to be sharing my thoughts. Now, before anyone asks, I already asked them for permission. So, yeah, they're going to let me look at this video, and let's see what we think. I actually think this is very clever how they both accomplished the masterpiece delivering Anna, the curator, to the museum, delivering an audience member to the museum, and accomplished an immersive experience all in one go like this. I think this is actually very good. I also really like how they didn't have to use a motor to accomplish this either. With a mechanical guide at the bottom and a ramp, that pushes down on the little platform in the immersive experience, they actually can accomplish this task very, very quickly and save their motors for a later part of the run. I also note they squared up on the immersive experience mission model, which I also think is a good idea. And they can do that because the immersive experience mission model has a lot of dual lock that is already connecting that mission model to the mat. You have to be careful about which mission models you actually do try to square up on, because some of these will not actually hold up, and you might damage them instead, which is not good. Let's keep going. I do notice they drive past the augmented reality statue, and I would have liked them to try to accomplish that here. I already watched this video once, and I know that they're going to be back here uh, again, more than once, and I think they could have saved some time on the runs if they accomplished this here instead of on a later one. Notice how they have mechanisms on both the front and the back of this attachment. I actually think that's very good. That allows the robot to score more in any specific run. However, I would like to see the stick at the top of the long arm that's going to do the lights. I wish that was a little wider so that they had more room for error. Maybe even on both sides of the arm. The other arm that flips over the speaker's lever, I'm not totally sure by itself it always flips the speaker lever all the way over. I have found that speaker lever sometimes doesn't flip all the way over or it goes back, so I would have wanted there to be a bit more to make sure that the lever actually goes all the way to the side. Also, I will mention that I think this program should be last, we will talk about that more later. I note they didn't actually stop the robots completely in home, it actually still had things hanging out that would lose a precision token, but at this point they wouldn't lose any precision points yet, because if you only lose one precision token, you still do score the maximum. Let's move on to the next run. Now with this run, I actually think it should be done first, because programs that grab mission models that you need to deliver later should generally run earlier and not later, so that the later programs or runs you do, can actually deliver them. I think it's very clever that they have a mechanism that does the virtual re reality artist. They engaged one of the gears to spin the chicken around, because flipping the lever over and over and over and over and over is very time consuming, and would probably take far too much time in a real match for that to ever be worth doing. I also like they have a passive mechanism which will later flip up the craft creator lid. I think it's good they grabbed the VFX director here. 
but I would like them to have also tried to get Noah the sound engineer, which you may notice is right next to where the robot is. If they added a couple more spears or such, I think they would have actually been able to grab him as well. Also note the robot doesn't actually stop completely in, or in the home area again. It's best to just have the robot turn towards base and then just drive way more than needed so that it stops well within the home area. Oh, the theater scene change is not actually correctly set up. It should be with the blue dot facing towards where the robot is right now. And then they would only have to push on it once instead of twice. Because you want the pink dots to be facing where the robot is. The two of your teams score the most points. I would have also liked to see them use more than one hook to try to grab Sam the Sage Manager, because having more than one hook gives the robot a better chance of trying to grab it, normally. I think this mechanism is very clever to lift the light show. Also, they're using mechanical guides. I do think they should add a thing to hold one of the audience members so they can just drop off the audience member right here. On this run, I also would have preferred if they returned to the west home area instead of the east home area. More on that later. We can actually drop the previous program if we find a way to deliver Sam the Stage Manager and an audience member to the film set. We already dealt with the other audience member to the light show. They have to be careful about not breaking the, the experts as well. I know they're really fragile. Otherwise, I think this run is actually very good. I do notice that they didn't score all of the sound mixer, and I suspect they could have made a jig or something and just use that to directly align the robot to the sound mixer. I actually think that this run could have been combined with the previous run if you have the mechanism to do the sound mixer on the back of the robot when the robot pushes out that other mechanism to do the dragon and the audience deliveries and the expert deliveries that happen in the area. So this is actually the program I think they could have delivered Sam the stage manager, the extra audience member as well. So the reason the ring pole got thrown was actually there's a little beam that's on the end of the axle that sticks into the ring, and that caught on the ring pole. The solution is very clever, I wish I thought of it myself. To sum up, I think this robot was very well done. It's not perfect, they had some hiccups when it came to reaching the home area. I do think their changeovers were really well done as well. And... I'm sure with a few improvements, they might actually make 550 in one of these practice runs sometime. To finish you off, I'm going to show you their video, except I'm going to reorder with a few little comments and such to what I think they should be doing.
Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something from it. If you did, please do leave a like on the video, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment down below. Also, if you w want to suggest any other videos for me to break down, you can also comment those down below. Finally, if you want me to help your FL team succeed at the competition, similar to what I'd be doing in these videos, or live, feel free to check out my Fiverr account as well. Thank you.